not over yet, Nora. Any good Osiram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. I've been seen. Ah! Those majestic, murderous glint hawks! <laughs> Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! like fighting these things, because there's more in the way! As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osiram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. 
The union of the Sun King and an Asuram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asuran devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Spare a moment to speak of the finer things. to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see, I'm busy. I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not worth it. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to defeat. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I've got to admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? 
you did with Durval. Don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate, to just investigate, that's all. Those Banook are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> You're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, Think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban-Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Hmm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities. Risk the likes of me. All right, I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And 
You look like you know your way around the Savage East. Uh, uh, the East. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well, you can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Good hunting. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. I have proven my worth with a hundred hunts. My song will echo for a hundred more. Banuk lands are harsher than these. Hunting here is relaxing. Shaman, you're trying to understand the machines here, too? Yes, Nora. And taking my time with my studies. Between you, me, and the spirits, I appreciate the peace. Not just from the machines. There are many changes in Ban Ur. The hunters and shamans bicker without end. What about? How best to deal with a harsher world. The hunters... They don't want it back the way it used to be. And we shamans find ourselves able to explain less and less. So many are exiles now, sent to wander. Here, no one argues. So, I welcome mystery. To see these machines... Up close like this, it's... Grazer dung. I'm sorry? Frozen grazer dung. This ravager led me here. I chased it down from the rivals, where it killed a great ice hunter. Tore him in two. The challenge I accepted. But when it reached this camp, the fury left it. Isn't that a good thing? Takuk says it's a gift. <sighs> what is a gift but a reward that you didn't earn? The machines are meant to challenge us. Now I'm stuck here, guarding the shamans. These lands are filled with mirrors. It is just mirrors. May the machine spirits grant you favor. Greetings, Nora. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've... I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing, and we listen, to 
through the machine songs. Teacook, have any other Outlanders come through here recently? Some Asaram, yes. They were convinced the machines were malfunctioning. As if machines were mere devices in need of repair. Well, that is how the Asaram see the world, is it not? They ate with us. Then, when they were satisfied there was nothing they could explain, they left with the Northern Light. The machines... same to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard. Their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We're not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about these bodies. They can't see it, but keep your scale in my focus can. Talks are just waiting. Beyond your chopping shard person. You can't just leave us here. Did Vilgan send you? Other yeah. shards can buy a conscience. Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for oxen. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I stopped them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. Before, you bunch of chuff skulls. The slack was on your end. I think it's okay. Looks like it's okay, doesn't it? What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic enough. 
malfunction. This is from long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart. They've already started attacking. The hunt is back. The machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes. Roar and rend at me. I don't fear it. You'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. Those are new side effects. He's not going to be happy about this. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. Know your face? <laughs> you came back! <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines... It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Carja silks? Ah, hoisted on my own purse strings. You're allowed in. How do I get invited? You've come all the way from the Savage East, right? You must have come across some of our hunting grounds. Each one has a set of hunting trials. If you pass a trial, you get an award called a Half Sun. Win three, and I'll let you in. Now off you go.
Ronora, I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sunring? Oh, uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawk's perched there, drawn to the spire's shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried in the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. I'd have to ditch something. This is what you intend to bring these ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes. The worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise.
watching him alone. These things will destroy us all! They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were ah! 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 Stop working. First the area. We may have intruders. Forgive this intrusion, Aloy. You left me no choice. <laughs> Who is this? An interested party. Now, the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. Who is this? out I promise I'll tell you everything I know you will the killers who came for me at the proving who are they the Eclipse some kind of holy warriors a cult of the shadow Karja shadow Karja except they're not like any Karja I've known they don't pray to the Sun they worship some kind of devil I'm not interested in their superstitions Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? 
I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard. Just once, when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold, awful jangle. It scrapes your bones. It hollows your guts. A metal sound. But like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. Helis. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Osram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. <sighs> If only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today, they call Corruptors. But there are others, much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground. But after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger. A rummager in dark places. Good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest. But then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Eren told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I'd tried, they would have killed my family. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your dead. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. Not too much already.
You're a woman of your word. Owen. Your family. I saw the threat from Helis. You have a wife and young boy? If I'd have striven to keep them safe, instead of all I've done. This is your chance, Olin. That's why we're here. I'll take it. A kinder deal was never struck. They're being held close by? Yes. The farmstead just beyond these rocks. I'll take you. That's it. Nestled against the Spurflins. Best not to think about the previous owners. <sighs> Too late. So this is it. I can't bear being so close, and yet... It's almost over. How many Eclipse are we talking? From what I've seen, a fair few. Well-armed and armored. Bowmen watching from the ridges. But there's no space for their machine demons. You've been watching for a while? What's the best way in? You think if I had a head for strategy, either of us would be in this mess? Fair point. We could storm the front gate, Asram style, or take it from the sides, or the ridge above. Maybe you could get on the rooftops. Not me. I'm too heavy cast. Should I do this alone? I don't doubt you could. But with the Eclipse, there's always another blade at your back. So I'll watch yours if you'll let me. Let's go. You have my steel. Got company. Don't give up yet. You can. Shadow guide me. Outbuildings look empty. <laughs> Try me now. The Eclipse must have the key. My child! Aloy, I owe you three debts deep. Thank the sun! You found us! I found... someone who had the courage I hoped for in myself. It's she who deserves your gratitude. I have much to confess. I accepted a devil's bargain. 
and others paid the price. And you think I don't know? I heard them talk. You know there's always been dirt on my hands. Now there's blood too. Take your son up in those hands. Come back to the claim with us. You should listen to your wife, Owen. But Helis and his demons. I am honor bound to help you, Aloy. With what little honor a Dyson like me has. Olin, whatever your debts, you don't owe them to me now. Go with your family. Show them you're a better man. Farewell, Aloy. Your mother. I hope you find her before they do. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. So which... Uh... No market for a snap maw lens is good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough! Well... They're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap maw lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait! You drove her off. Snap my lands. What do you say? I drove her off. <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress. Long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, bring us your metal. Buy what you need. Leave scroungers? What kind of brutes are you trying to attract? The longer this split with the shadow, 